from when I stick to your hair. Yeah, it's a gimbal. Yeah, mine on my hybrid. Oh, the shots I'm gonna be able to get with this thing, you wouldn't even believe. It should be here by now, actually. Let's unbox the DJI OM6 mobile gimbal and test it. Let's go. Alright, so this is actually my first DJI product and I have to admit the packaging is nice. The white box, technical information on the back as well as the app information. Alright, let's open it. I swear there's nothing nicer and more satisfying than opening new packages. Okay, so we have a cable. I assume this is the charging cable. It's my assumption. And a little carrying bag. And as well as the manual, the quick start manual. And yeah, let's get to what we came for. So this is the magnet that you put onto the attach the back of your phone and then that you line it up with the actual gimbal and it just locks. gimbal itself uh, twist the lock and unlock I believe I don't think you like that oh, there it is all right just like that and that's how you unlock it there's no on or off button from what I've read because I did read up on it a bit before I purchased it so you just twist it unlock it once it's open it turns on and then it's the same procedure to turn it back off I'll figure it out eventually Future Cooper here. I did in fact figure it out. And then this is the little tripod stand. You can screw into the bottom of it and you can make a little tripod. Just like that. Right, that was a fun basic test but let's get more in depth in the features of it you have this m over here now the m is the mode selector and the om6 comes with four modes follow spin shot tilt lock and fpv now if you triple click the m the gimbal goes into standby mode the joystick outside of spin shot mode you can use it to just control this gen the small motions of the gimbal 
to pair your gimbal with your phone and you have the Vimo app, you can use the shutter button to start, stop recordings. If you're in video mode, if you're in photo mode, you can just use the snap picks. And if you hold it, you can take burst picks. Switch button, if you click the button once on the Mimo app, you'll just switch between your front camera and your back camera. If you click it twice, it will switch between landscape and portrait view. And if you click it three times, it will switch between video or photo mode. Side wheel here is pretty cool. You can actually use it in the Mimo app to control the zoom distance. So you can just spin it, control how far the zoom is. And if you click it in, it switches to manual focus mode and you can use it to control the focus length of your shot. Please the trigger. Now with the trigger, if you press it once, you can enable or disable active track, which just lets you focus on what you're tracking and it will track it by itself. Pressing the trigger twice is going to recenter your gimbal. And if you press and hold it, it locks the gimbal tilt and motion in place so you can just get those smooth shots with it. 